What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and if you want, you can follow me down below at Lyman Football on Instagram. So today's video is gonna be really, really cool. Uh, Adidas actually reached out to me and they wanted to send me some stuff from their upcoming games and stuff that were going on. And they sent me some player edition gear from the Adidas All-American game that happened a couple weeks ago at this point. So in front of me right here, we have a Adidas Nasty 20 cleat and a player edition. Now these cleats are not new for 2021, but this is a player edition only, which means technically it is new for 2021 um, when you think of it that way. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Let's jump in. So one really important thing to note with these cleats off the bat is... <laughs> They're not going to fit me. These are massive. Um, and the reason they're not going to fit me is because they're player edition cleats, right? When they make cleats like this for specific events, they make them for sizes for the people competing in the events. No one that needed a nasty cleat that was a size 16, so they sent it my way. So we do have one cleat here. Inside we have the other cleat. Now when you're looking at a cleat like this right off the bat, you might not think this is like a lineman style cleat. Um, but they actually made some design changes to this to make it a little bit more lineman friendly. Um, so if you actually look at the design, this is pretty much the same design as the Adidas Freak. Right, looking at that Freak cleat, you can see there's a lot of really similar features on the two. But they did a couple things different with this one to make it a little bit more lineman friendly. Now when you're looking at other Adidas cleats, you have like the Adidas Freaks and the Adidas Zeros, right? Their plate on here is the exact same style of plate, but it's actually a lot narrower design. So this one was made for wider feet in general, which generally makes it good for bigger guys. Another design change they made is they made the collar around the upper here. They made it a little bit higher, so you have a little bit more ankle support, uh, but it's not as high as some of the other ones that are gonna restrict any of your movement. You can also see on the top here, they added what they call the lockdown lacing system, and that's how it loop loops around through here like this, and that's supposed to lock in the laces and pull everything really tight to your foot. You can see there's really no mesh on this cleat besides the mesh tongue, which adds a little bit of breathability. And you can see the entire rest of the cleat is basically this TPU style material. That's gonna be super, super durable. Now looking at the plate on the bottom here, I'm not a super big fan of some of these spikes on the front here from a lineman perspective. You can see here on how long and tall these ones are at the back. Some of these molded ones are a little bit shorter than I would like to see for linemen. I'd like to see those a little bit taller. You've also seen in the, a couple other, uh, companies successfully incorporate different lineman style features into their plates. You can see like on the Nike Lunar Beast Elite TD cleats, they added like those things along the side to help give you a little bit of like horizontal stabilization. Uh, but overall, if they were gonna make this like specifically for linemen, I think that they should definitely lengthen these molded toes in the front. But like I said, it's kind of an all around cleat, but it does have a lot of lineman related tendencies like being wider. Now, as far as a midsole goes, uh, it actually doesn't have a midsole. It goes right from the upper down into the plastic plate here. The one thing that they did add though, you might be able to see on the inside here, is gonna be that hexagonal style piece. That is another piece they, they added between the upper and the, the plate here on the bottom. And that was just to add a little bit more stiffness to the cleat. Now, as far as the design goes, the theme they were going with was kind of like a Mario Kart-esque like powering up, right? They were going for a lot of those like really cool holographic colors that you'd get in like a rainbow road here. You can even see on this tongue how much that tongue changes color. Same thing on the side, you have that like holographic look. And everything that they did was this was made to mimic what was going on in the Adidas All-American jerseys, right? So you could see that the jerseys they had were predominantly like a blue versus a red. So they added those color shifts in here for these cleats from the blue, the reds, the greens, like all these different really cool shifts. Now, as far as what players are actually wearing these cleats in the NFL, uh, there's not a lot of like notable O linemen wearing these, but there are some really cool D linemen that are wearing these right now, which will kind of show you where this cleat might be made for. So the most notable one right now is gonna be Adidas athlete Bradley Chubb, just made the Pro Bowl this year. He's wearing these right now. Uh, on occasion, Von Miller has worn these. Miles Garrett has worn them in a couple games. Dak Prescott as well. And yeah, that's just a couple of guys on the Adidas team that are repping these cleats right now. So if I was going to recommend a cleat like this for a specific position, I'd probably go with like more D-line than O-line based. Um, you can maybe get away with these at tackle where you want a little bit more mobility, but when you're looking at interior linemen, you want a little bit more support, you want a little bit longer uh, studs on the inside here. So I'd definitely go with like either, you know, at most a tackle from the O-line um, and then probably like your D-end edge rusher outside linebacker style position for these on the defense. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the Adidas Nasty 20 All-American Player Edition cleats. Now, if you guys are not sub to footballers, make sure to sub down below as we're putting out way more content when we used to enter the new brand. So check that out. Thanks for watching, guys.